next speaker is Jung Kim, and she will talk about twists of elliptic curves. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll talk about twists of elliptic curves. Uh, let's say k be, uh, k be a number field and e over k is an elliptic curve over k, the one given by the equation y square equal x cubed plus a x plus b. A uh, twist of e over k is another elliptic curve which is isomorphic to e over an algebraic cross over k. We focus on uh, quadratic twists and cubic twists. The quadratic twist of E by D is uh, an elliptic curve uh, defined by the equation shown here. Mm. Um, <laughs> the two elliptic curves E and E upper D uh, is isomorphic over a uh, quadratic extension of K, but not over K. Mm. And every elliptic curve of E has mm, associated quadratic extension, but only some elliptic curve have uh, associated cubic twist. Uh, the cubic twist of E by D is an elliptic curve uh, given by the equation E lower D, y square equal x cubed plus B D square. Then the two elliptic curves E and E lower D is isomorphic over a uh, cubic extension of K, but not over K. Um, to distinguish of quadratic twist and cubic twist, we will use upper D in case of quadratic twist and lower D in case of cubic twist. Uh, now let's fix K be a rational field Q. The root number of E over Q is the sign uh, appearing in the functional equation for uh, L function of E. Uh, it is plus 1 if E has even analytic length and it is minus 1 if E has odd analytic length. And let's define the set Sx. It is a uh, scale free integer d. Uh, it's uh, with absolute value less than x. <coughs> it is well known fact that uh, the uh, uh, let E be an elliptic curve over Q, then its half of quadratic twist have root number 1 and about half of quadratic twist root number minus 1. The parity conjecture is a weak form of the VST conjecture. It says that the rank and the, the analytic rank of E have the same parity. Assuming the parity conjecture, the above a uh, well-known fact says that uh, th mm, the half <coughs> of uh, quadratic twists have even rank and half of quadratic twists have odd rank. Uh, thus, from this, uh, the average rank of quadratic twists is n least one half. Uh, Goldfeld conjecture predicts that uh, it is exactly one half. Let E is an elliptic curve over Q. Uh, <laughs> in 1979, Goldfeld conjectured that uh, the, half, uh, the average of quadratic twist, uh, uh, the average of rank of quadratic twist is uh, one half. Assuming the parity conjecture, Goldfeld conjecture asserts that uh, half of quadratic twist have rank, rank zero and about half of quadratic twist have rank 1 and 0% of quadratic twist have rank greater than 2. Let's consider <coughs> the curve E, uh, sorry, it's e D, uh, e D uh, x cubed plus y cubed equal D. Uh, then it is an elliptic curve and it is a cubic twist of parama curve E1. Mm, then this curve relates to the problem which integer uh, can be written as a two sum of Q, two cubes. So let's define the set of CX. It is a cube free integer with absolute value and most X. Then in 1987, Jagiel and Kremers conjecture that 
the analytic length of qubit twist is greater than two. So this, uh, if it is true, then it would be a significant difference between be the behavior of quadratic twist and cubic twist. Um, now let's think over the uh, general number field. Uh, the Goldfeld conjecture would be not hold over a general number field. Let k be a qi and e is an elliptic curve given by y cube equal x uh, y square equal x cube plus x. Uh, then E has a non-trivial k endomorphism g i, send, sending x two minus x y two i y. Then every quadratic twist of E k has even length. Then uh, Dukistar and Dukistar gave a uh, if and only if condition, which tells every quadratic twist have the same root number. And the condition is here. And let E be an elliptic curve with A equals zero. Then my work with Bion is uh, determining condition whether uh, all cubic twists have uh, same root number or not. And uh, in this case, all root number have, have root number e, or one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, now I'm working to calculate the Selma rank of cubic twist over E. And I stop here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>